Walking through the city centre, everywhere you look are buildings funded by the European Union. Liverpool One, the Chinatown Arch, the Ferry Terminal and both of the city's distinct cathedrals have been just some of the buildings that have benefited from nearly £2 billion of EU cash. With the EU in and out referendum looming, opinions are divided on whether or not Britain would be better off alone. Liverpool Lib Dems are firmly behind the UK staying as part of the EU, making sure these projects can continue. I'll be arguing the important case for the UK staying inside Europe, particularly important for Liverpool with our port, uh, but important for the whole of the UK because it's going to affect our jobs if we go, it's going to affect our security if we go. As well as funding, the EU has been a strong supporter of Liverpool's diverse culture. And of course the biggest boost of all to Liverpool was being European capital of culture and we couldn't have done that if we weren't in the EU. But many people feel Brussels take more money than they give. It's, it's extremely expensive uh, and it's undemocratic. Its growth rates are abysmal. Uh, it's got twice the unemployment of Britain and half the growth of Britain. With the politicians at loggerheads, we asked the people of Liverpool for their views. Uh, people that makes uh, that live for the for similar uh, values in life uh, could uh, stay together to maintain the peace uh, in the world. Because of the migration and everything that's coming into the to the country, that there isn't enough jobs to go round for everybody. So I think no. I'm not sure because I don't know much about the European Union. I don't know. A lot of grants have come, plus you've got three, two and a half billion Brits who are working abroad. So I'll be more about immigrants, but there's as many as us who've gone out there. As a lot of voters are unsure, Britain's European future remains uncertain. Jessica Jones, JMU TV.